dead. Hello, mate. How's I'm excited trip? about seeing you. It was a long trip. Fantastic. A long trip. Well, you're actually on a trailer. You said you were going to drive this back. I did, but it's a little car to drive all the way back from Italy, and it's got a little technical issue. But there it is. Wheeler Dealers is a British TV series centered around patrol head mechanics as they travel the country searching for vintage cars. Most of the vehicles they find are usually at the end of their lifespan, and the crew works to restore them to what they once were before selling them for a profit. At the inception of the TV series, Mike Brewer and Ed China were the presenters for 13 seasons. From 2003 to 2017, they both worked to make the TV series their most famous television work. However, after 13 years, Ed China announced his exit from Wheeler Dealers. Yes, I'm afraid it's true, and I'm really sorry. After 13 years of making Wheeler Dealers, I'm now going to be leaving the show. Join us as we examine what really happened between Mike Brewer and Ed China. Why did this lengthy, beautiful partnership have to end? Wheeler Dealer is a unique kind of TV series created by the do-it-yourself ideology in mind. The series was created by the founding directors of Attaboy TV, Daniel Allum, and Michael Wood, both avid car enthusiasts, who employed Mike and Ed to pioneer the TV series. In every episode, Mike would buy a vehicle and give it to his mechanic, Ed, so it could be repaired and sold. Mike and Ed were usually given a budget to work with the series' inception, and the costs and any profit or loss are assessed with considering the time and energy that went into fixing it up. The notion behind the show is that the mechanic or the average car enthusiast watching from home could carry out these repairs themselves. However, professional work like body resprays or parts replacement is usually added to the cost of repairing the vehicle. For 13 seasons, Ed China was an important part of the TV series. He developed an early interest in cars and obtained a degree in engineering product design from the London South Bank University. While he was in the university, he built the casual Lofa, the world's only street legal driving sofa, which was built to raise money for the Rayleigh International Expedition to Belize. This project would be the first major project Ed would embark on. Mike Brewer is the other half of the TV series that made it work. Born to Roger Wilkes, who was heavily involved in vehicle customization, Mike has also been introduced to the world of automobiles from a very young age. In 2003, Discovery Channel reached out and asked him to present their new motoring show, and Mike agreed. Wheeler Dealers was successful, with Mike and Ed as host and co host A spinoff called Wheeler Dealers Trading Off originated from the original TV series, but it was centered around Mike traveling the world, buying and selling cars until he traded for a supercar. In another spin-off, Wheeler Dealer's Dream Car, Mike works with his mechanics, Elvis, to give in car enthusiasts the car of their dreams. Despite the huge success of the TV series, Ed China announced his exit in 2017 and was replaced by Ant Anstead. When Mike Brewer was quizzed about Ed's sudden exit, he said, Yes, Ed, Ed turned out to not be gracious. Yeah. He did some very bad things, and then when he did some very bad things, it meant that Discovery Channel just couldn't work with him anymore. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so they gave him the option to leave, yeah, yeah. and he took it. And Mike praised Ed's replacement and had no nice things to say about Ed. What happened between these two? After Ed's exit, Mike commented about Ed, suggesting that Ed's newfound fame from becoming a TV star was the problem. He said, Ant is a real mechanic. Ed became a TV star, rather than, Ed forgot his focus really on what he was there to do. He was a mechanic, and then he became a TV star. He said at times they'd get a new car, and he'd ask Ed to fix it up, but instead of doing that, he would moan and argue about everything. Mike acknowledged that Ed usually gets the job done most of the time, but the problem was how long it takes to get things done. Ed had a different story. In a video upload to his channel, Ed explained why he decided to leave the TV series. After 13 years and 135 cars, Wheeler Dealers had grown to be one of the biggest TV shows on the planet. Despite the popularity and sheer size of its audience, there was a lack of brand endorsements and product placement. This pushed the show's producers to look for opportunities to exploit the brand and make more money off it. So, after the 12th season, the show's originators, Attaboy TV, were replaced by Discovery Studios in California. And had a problem with this new arrangement, because the new producers found the TV series too hard to make in its current format. The producers were pushing to reduce the detailed, in-depth coverage of Ed's repairs, which he felt was the most important part of the series. In simpler terms, Ed was unhappy that the producers were editing what they did at the workshop out of the series. He felt this move undermined his role and pointed it out as the major reason he left. 
Mike Brewer countered Ed's explanation, calling him a traitor for leaving in a deleted tweet that read, Ed left, didn't say, just abandoned the show and then trashed it after 13 years. Who's the traitor? In support of the show's producers, Mike said, There's no way on earth that anyone has ever suggested that the mechanical content of the show is going to be reduced. Where that came from, I don't know. It is not going to be reduced. Discovery Channel are not going to change the format one iota. Mike's comments and responses show that he was on the side of the show's producers. The fans, who already were livid at the news of Ed's exit, weren't too happy with Mike and took it out on him. Many of the fans saw Ed China as the talent of the show. Anyone with the laptop could have done Mike's job, and the cars from the series may not have been profitable if Ed had charged the show's producers for his labor costs. After Ed's exit, Mike Brewer found himself on the receiving end of backlash from angry fans. Some of the backlash came as death threats to him and his family members. Most of the fans felt Mike should have stood with Ed and also rejected the overhauling of the series. Death threats are a serious issue, and Ed wasn't fine with Mike receiving them, so he came out to address it. He urged the fans to accept the decisions he and Mike had made. He said, is he my favorite person right now? Well, probably not, and I know for sure I'm not his, but that's okay. We're both adults and we'll get over ourselves, we'll get past this, and we'll be fine. Ed China continues to explore and create things. His casual lofa got him his first Guinness World Record for fastest furniture. He has also won other records, like the world's fastest electric ice cream van. His YouTube channel, named after himself, now serves as his new workshop with over 972,000 subscribers and almost 50 million views. He's focused on creating content around cars for YouTube. Ed's pilot episode for his YouTube show, Ed China's Garage Revival, received over 3 million views. However, he decided to devote more time to writing books, and his autobiography, Grease Junkie, A Book of Moving Parts, was published in hardcover in August 2019. After Ed's exit, Mike continued hosting the show with a new co-host, Ant Anstead. Mike was happy about the pairing with Anstead. Speaking about Ed again, he mentioned that Ed wants to do separate stuff besides the TV series since it's so time-consuming. He said, If you want to venture out into other areas and expand your horizons, then Wheeler Dealers gives you very little time to do that. The fans were excited about Ant. He did a good job of stepping into Ed's shoes. Even though he did it with a different style and attitude, he was just as knowledgeable as Ed. However, after three seasons of the series, Ant Anstead announced his exit just one month after announcing his divorce from his wife, Christina Anstead. Ant left because he would love to try out new television projects in the United States. Since his exit, he starred in other TV shows like World's Greatest Cars and is presently part of the cast of Celebrity IOU Joyride. Ant was replaced by Mark Elvis Priestley, a former Formula One mechanic who's a very different person compared to Ed Ant Ant.